So brace yourselves for this one. You know what varicose veins are, right? These are those enlarged or dilated or swollen veins that can happen anywhere in the body potentially, but they are most commonly seen in the Hi guys, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a consultant in general practice. Welcome to this video. I've recently launched a new channel called Ask Away Health Tips and it's dedicated to short clips on women's health information that you can catch on the go. And I'd love for you to support me on that channel. If you enjoy my detailed breakdowns here on Ask Away Health, they will definitely continue. But sometimes you also want a quick burst of information for one minute or less. So head over and subscribe to that channel as soon as you finish watching this video. I'll place the link in the description box below. It will be great to have you there as well. So let's begin. If you're pregnant or you've just had a baby, you'll be interested in finding out how it might affect different parts of your body, including your vagina. In this informative video, we look at changes in your vulva or vagina and other nearby tissues that come with pregnancy. Some of these changes are temporary and others may take a little bit longer before things get back to normal. But pregnancy is a natural and transformative experience. And for many of us ladies, some of these changes that happen can be a little bit unexpected. So from changes in hormone levels to physical changes, vaginal lubrication or dryness, vaginal elasticity and sensitivity, potential shifts in the pH level in the vagina, the risk of infections. We will shed some light on what happens while your bump is growing. We also discuss the impact of pregnancy and childbirth on your pelvic floor muscle and potential for any postpartum issues with some practical advice about how to maintain your vaginal health during and after your pregnancy. I emphasize self-care as being critical and regular communication with all your healthcare providers. As a quick reminder before we get started, your vulva is that part of your body that begins from the mons pubis, that is where your pubic hair is, and extends to the area between your legs, between the thighs, and continues towards the opening of the anus. Right in the middle of the vulva, covered by tissues known as labia, is the entrance to the vagina. The vagina itself is a tube made of muscle which can expand or widen during sex or pregnancy. If you're confused about different parts of your vulva and what the different terms like clitoris and vagina mean, please download my Know Your Lady Bits guide. I'll put the link for this in the description box below. So with that little background, let us dive into 10 ways pregnancy could potentially affect your intimate areas. Number one, increased blood flow. No, I don't mean vaginal bleeding when you're pregnant. Instead, I'm referring to the fact that during pregnancy, there's an increase in blood flow throughout the body, including the pelvic area plus your vagina and vulval tissues. Now, what is the effect of this? The effect can be the change in the appearance or size of these tissues thanks to these larger blood vessels that are there to provide nourishment to your tissues as your pregnancy progresses. After having your baby, the blood flow returns to normal and your tissues will naturally adjust. Number two, there is stretching and relaxation of your vaginal tissue. Just as it happens in other parts of your body, your growing bump and your hormones can affect your vagina in this way. This too, in addition to the process of vaginal childbirth, will cause the vagina to stretch and relax. And sometimes this can lead to a feeling of being a little bit looser after you've had the baby. Your body is designed for this. Remember we said the vagina is a muscular tube, the tissues will naturally regain their elasticity and tightness. However, if you have a procedure known as a cut in the perineum, that is the area directly under the vagina or an episiotomy when your baby is being delivered through the vagina, there may be a wider space than usual within the vagina that is restored back to normal when the cut is repaired after your delivery. Number three, vaginal discharge changes. So you're used to having very minimal or little discharge before you got pregnant and all of a sudden big changes happen. Yes, those pregnancy hormones, estrogen and progesterone can alter the amount and the consistency of your vaginal discharge. This is entirely normal. So please don't panic unless you experience any unpleasant or nasty odors, unusual appearance to your discharge, such as brown, yellow, green, or blood. 
or discomfort around your pelvis, in which case you should contact your healthcare provider. Number four, there is an increased risk of infections. Hmm, one of the many sacrifices of pregnancy is an increased risk of infections. For me, it was eye infections, the kind I never experienced before getting pregnant. Infections could develop anywhere in the body, but it's thanks to those hormone changes we've just talked about, as well as the fact that your immune system is slightly reduced when you're pregnant and you may be at greater risk of vaginal infections like thrush from candida. Number five, varicose veins. Okay, so brace yourselves for this one. You know what varicose veins are, right? These are those enlarged or dilated or swollen veins that can happen anywhere in the body potentially, but they are most commonly seen in the lower legs. They happen because of a higher pressure within the vein, as well as weakness within the valves of that vein that affect the way blood flows inside it. But when you're pregnant, a combination of different things can lead to varicose veins developing temporarily around your pelvis or the vulval area. First is the increase in blood flow, we've already talked about that. Then next is your big bump and your pregnancy hormones. The good news is that if at all you develop those varicose veins in the pelvic area or the vulva, it's only temporary and things will return back to normal after your baby comes. And even though it can happen fairly commonly, varicose veins during pregnancy are mostly harmless and painless for the majority of women who get them. So, who knew that pregnancy could have such surprising effects on your vulva or vagina? If you didn't, let me know which one has surprised you so far in the comment section. Well, let's go on to the next set of vulva or vaginal changes that can happen when you're pregnant. Number six, pelvic floor changes. Pregnancy and childbirth may increase the risk of something called incontinence by weakening the pelvic floor muscles. Urinary incontinence. Now, this is the occasional leakage of urine when you cough or sneeze. When you're pregnant, it happens because your bump is pressing on your bladder. And if your pelvic floor is weak, it's not supporting the bladder properly and the bladder opens and allows urine to leak out of it. Having a weak pelvic floor can also affect sexual satisfaction during and after pregnancy. And it can lead to problems like a prolapse which can develop after pregnancy or years beyond. So I recommend you do these things called pelvic floor exercises before, during, and after your pregnancy to maintain the strength of your pelvic floor. They're also known as Kegel exercises and you can learn more about them, how to do them, and other ways to support your pelvic floor. Check out this video here where I dedicate a lot of explanation to that subject. Number seven, hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are also known as piles. They are swollen blood vessels in the anus that make the tissues around them painful and or itchy. Like varicose veins, they can develop when you're pregnant. From the action of your pregnancy hormones or because the pressure within your pelvic area is growing thanks to your baby bump. They can cause a lot of discomfort and pain, especially when you're trying to open your bowels. And in some cases, that discomfort may extend forward towards your vulval area. It's essential to avoid constipation, especially when you're pregnant by drinking plenty of water, eating lots of fiber-rich food, and if necessary, use a mild laxative to help with soft stools. This reduces the risk of stress Training while opening your bowels, which can raise the pressure within your abdomen and pelvis and cause hemorrhoids to happen. If you develop piles when you're pregnant, most times they will settle after baby is born. But if you have any problems during or after your pregnancy, please speak to your doctor about hemorrhoids treatment. Number eight, we're looking at the changes in the pH balance and vaginal odor when you're pregnant. As you know, your vaginal pH is important. This is because it helps to maintain a healthy environment plus an adequate balance of helpful germs within the vagina like lactobacillus. This helps reduce the risk of infections. However, if you're pregnant, those hormone changes can affect the pH level or acidity of the vagina. So there is a greater risk of picking up infections like thrush or bacterial vaginosis because the environment that normally will prevent these harmful bacteria or germs from overgrowing has been disrupted thanks to the hormone changes in pregnancy. The same hormone changes and differences in pH can also affect some women and the odor from the vagina. This doesn't happen to everyone, but you might notice it. And if it's not accompanied by abnormal discharge or any pain or other symptoms, it's just something natural and will settle after your baby is born. So just make sure you maintain good hygiene throughout your pregnancy with regular baths, frequent changing of your underwear to reduce any risk of exposure to 
harmful germs. Make sure you're eating healthy with foods that support your immune system, including your pregnancy vitamins or supplements that can help your overall health. Number nine, decreased lubrication oh dear when pregnant those hormones could also affect the lubrication in your vagina and vulval area so this means that some women cold experience reduced lubrication leading to vaginal dryness and of course the outcome of this is potential discomfort or pain during sex on the other hand some women experience higher lubrication increasing their sexual satisfaction which box do you fit into so be aware of these potential changes if you fit into the box of dryness when you're pregnant you can find safe short-lasting lubricants that can help to enhance your sexual pleasure and again remember that these changes are temporary and once your bundle of joy is born things go back to normal number 10 postpartum healing after giving birth your entire body including the vulva and the vagina go through a period a healing process it's important to give your vulva and vagina as well as other parts of your body time to heal and recover from the stress of the nine of the last nine months now this can be different for all of us whether we've had a vaginal or c-section birth. after baby comes you may experience swelling soreness potentially changes in sensation around your vulva and vaginal area pay attention to what your body is telling you by four to six weeks after birth whether it's a vaginal birth or c-section most women are ready for sexual activity it might be a little bit longer if you're recovering from a complicated procedure or if you had a cut or episiotomy when you were having the baby so best practice keep an eye on any changes including any unscheduled or unexpected vaginal bleeding vaginal discharge rashes lumps or other changes seek medical advice if you have any concerns speaking of vaginal or vulva lumps check out this video here where i talk a lot more about them don't forget to go ahead to ask away health tips to subscribe for short clips on women's health information and i'll see you lovelies again soon